So, aside from this um, component class, one of the reasons why we have bad weather it is because of climate change. Yes, that's why um, sometimes we notice that the weather today is very good, but later on, a while ago, the rain will come. So, it is an indicator of climate change because of our negative, bad, and illegal human activities plus like what? Illegal cutting of trees, mining, deforestation. So, it affects our climate, our weather. Yes. So, that's why we have a bad weather pattern right now. Right? So, since nature um, contributes a lot towards our weather. Yes. So, to minimize um, bad weather condition class, what we will do? Very good. We have to take good care of our nature. Yes. In what way? Of course, we will plant trees. Um, if we cut trees, we replace them. And then we avoid what? Burning plastics? Burning plastics. Yes, burning plastics. Yes. And another way, class, is that when we go somewhere else and if the distance is just near to our house, instead of commuting, why not take a walk? It is a form of exercise also. Okay, so we have to take good care of our nature class so that we can minimize the effect of climate change. Okay, so that's it. So next class is Humidity. Okay, so um, this column kindly read humidity. Where's my chalk? Okay, so humidity is the moisture or dryness of the air. So this is an example of humidity. So. Um, who among you here live in province or rural areas? RJ, uh, RJ and Danica. RJ and Danica only. Okay. On your way to school, RJ and Danica. Of course, you can step grasses, right? So, you notice that why are these grasses wet? Why are these flowers wet? Why are my shoes um, have liquid parts already. So, that is an example of moisture. Maybe there's rain before that day. So, another example. Um, who are rich kids here? Hmm? Laika? <laughs> Was car? Was it car? Hmm, Laika? Oh. Can I have a ride? Can we have a ride? Can your classmates have a ride? <laughs> okay. Um, Laika, before you enter in the car, of course, there's a side mirror, right? And then you want to uh, see your face. You want to fix your hair. But seems like it is blurry. What makes it blurry? Because of the liquid part in there because of the wet so you wipe it out so that liquid part is an example of moisture so humidity class affects weather in a way that uh, same as the temperature when the humid is high when the humidity is high of course it is an indicator of dryness or we have dry season. While the humidity is low, we will experience what? Coolness. 
So that is how humidity affects weather. Is that clear? Okay, thumbs up if it is clear. Okay, so last one is the air pressure. So, um, Kaloy, kindly read air pressure. Okay, so air pressure is the pressure within the atmosphere. So, when we say air pressure class, it is also known as atmospheric pressure. So, here is an example. So, who like to um, watch news? Do you know Kuya Kim? Um, another reporter in GMA, who is it? Um, Mantangi Cruz? You know them? So, they are weather forecasters, right? So, they always say, um, there's a low pressure, there's a high pressure. So, what is the difference between the two? So, when we say um, low pressure, they always say that there's a typhoon that will come. There's a possibility that there will be typhoon. But when they say high pressure, what is the indicator for this? Of course, it is more on sunny day. Okay, so that is the difference between low pressure and high pressure. That's why it is very important to watch news. Okay, once you go home, you watch news, huh? Okay, so that's all for the weather component. How many water components you have? There are six components. And now we will go to the instrument. Yay! So, class, um, when you want to know your weight, what will you use? Weighing scale. When you want to measure your height. Yes, you can use tape measure or meter stick, right? So, um, in weather components class, they have specific instruments also, also used in measuring them. I think except for the cloudiness. Oh, so, so let's have the weather component. Here. So, since our first weather component here is, what is it again? Temperature. Okay, so the instrument that will measure temperature is when you are sick, class, when you are not feeling well, what will your parents put in your armpit? You call that thermometer. Yes, thermometer. Here it is. Okay. Um. So, in thermometer class, there are two conversions here. Other side is the degree Celsius, while the other is the degrees. Fahrenheit. So, if the thermometer will measure this number, so it is an indicator that we will have hot season. Well, here, if the thermometer measures here, below this number, below this number, here, we will have what? Wet season. It can be hot or dry season here. So, class, um, if the, if we will use degree Celsius in your math, you still remember? So, if 
um, if it is about 10 degrees Celsius, the conversion for this is what? In Fahrenheit. So about the equivalent for this here is 50, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is the conversion. Actually, there's a formula for this one, but we will not tackle because it is your it is in your math subject already. Right? So next one class is the wind. We have the instrument used to measure wind. And that's what we called. What is this? Read. Yes, anemometer. I will just stay this side class, huh? So that you can see the visual aid clearly. So, anemometer class is the one that will measure the wind. So, you see there, class, there are directions. What are those four directions again? North, South, East, and the West. So, this direction here will serve as a guide where the wind is coming or moving. So, if it will, uh, it, it will result to west, so the wind is from the west. But, if in, but the wind is in the north, so it will result to the north. Yes. So, next. We have the precipitation. So this is the instrument. We have the rain gauge. Okay. So it is just like a container class. It will measure the quantity. I mean the yes, the quantity of the of the rain. So, you notice class, um, when there is heavy rain, what will your parents do? What will your mother do? They will get those pails. And then, they will place it outside. That serves as the container to catch those water coming from the rain. For what purpose? Um, it can be used for, for washing. For watering the plants. So, that is already a form of conservation of water. So, our parents are really brilliant, no? Yes. They are really uh, resourceful. Uh, so, you must be proud of your parents. So, another class, another instrument is the... Yes, the hygrometer. We don't have instrument for cloudiness because it is really obvious already. Once the cloud is like this, so there's a possibility that will rain. Okay, so we will proceed to humidity. So this one. This is for the humidity. Can you still see class? Okay, so so this instrument class is like a clock. There's a hand here. So, once this hand, I will place uh, here, huh? So that you can see. Is it okay if I will just place here? So, once this hand turns here, 60 to 100, so it means that the humidity is high. What is the indicator again if the humidity is high? We will have what? Dryness. We will have dry season. But once this arrow turns here, <coughs> it will become slow, low. So, it is an indication that the humidity is low also. So, we will have wet season. Okay? So, last one is for the air pressure so or the atmospheric pressure so for the atmospheric pressure class we have the 
it has it this one is just the same the dihygrometer we have the same instrument so this one is for the air pressure so but it is more on a specific because there are equivalent words in each uh, number so for the for here we have stormy or rainy season but once it turns here, we have uh, dry or very dry season. Okay, so are we all clear for the instruments? Any question? So, except for the cloudiness, right? We don't have any instrument used to measure cloudiness. So, that's it for our instruments used to measure weather components okay so how how many there are five so any question class further clarifications no one none none so far okay since you don't have any questions i will be the one who will ask okay Okay, so again, there are how many weather components? There are six, and those are temperature, wind, precipitation, cloudiness, humidity, and air pressure. And what is the instrument used to measure precipitation? We have the Rain gauge. Then for air pressure, we have the this one, the barometer. And for the um for what is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, wind. We have the anemometer. Okay, for um. Humidity, we have the hygrometer and last is the thermometer for the temperature. Okay. That's it. So, I guess that's all. So, we can use these instruments to measure weather components because uh, years before class, our ancestors predict weather through this component only without any instrument because they are not, because those days are not yet so high tech unlike now right so they will just see the clouds if it is gloomy or bright then they will just feel the uh, wind if it is strong or not and then they will um, try to feel the temperature also if it is hot or cold. So that's how our ancestors predict weather, even though they don't have instruments already. But still, they were able to know the weather for that day. Yes. So, so much for that. Can we have the activity now? Okay, so kindly get your science notebook class and your pen also. You will just use your science notebook for answering. So I will get the visual aid now. Are you done copying with this one? Take picture. Wow. Okay. It is okay. Just tell me if you're done, huh? Done? Okay, I will get... Okay. Wait, huh? Get your size notebook. Your size notebook last. Okay, you go. You can go to the CR. Okay. Oh, see Dora. Dora 
is waiting for us. Yes. So. So this is your activity class. Copy and answer, okay? Yes. You answer activity 1, ha? Huh? Leave activity 2 because it will be passed together with your assignment. Which I will give later, ha? Huh? Okay, so. I will just give you 15 minutes. Is that okay? Okay, so start. Start answering class. I will just observe you, ha? Huh? Hello, Irans. Second warning. Start answering. Stop talking. Your your classmates are answering. You can disturb them. Okay. Are you done? Not yet. Okay. Continue answering class. Where's my paper here? Two minutes remaining. What number are you now? Four? Okay. Uh, letter D. In letter D. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. So, raise your pen and your paper because we will have the checking. Okay. Let's do it in clockwise class. Okay. The count of... Five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the instruction is write the equivalent instrument used to measure the given component. So, what do you think is the instrument used to measure temperature? It is the yes, it is the thermometer. While for the wind, we have the anemometer. For the atmospheric pressure, we have the, yes, the barometer. For the precipitation, okay, like, uh, we have the rain gauge. And for the humidity, oh, kaloy. Ah, hygrometer. So, perfect? Ah, very good. My, my students are really listening. You want fire clubs again? Okay, let's do it. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. Psh, psh, psh. Ah, again. One, two, three, one, two, three. Psh, psh, psh. Ah, okay, so return the notebook now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so were you able to learn something, class, from our discussion for today? Hmm, really? Hmm. Let's try. Uh, RJ, what have you learned for today? Hmm, yes, that's correct. There are weather components and mm, 
most of that components have their specific instruments. Another one, um, Danica. Very good. For us to minimize um, bad weather conditions, we have to take good care of our nature because our nature contributes a lot towards our climate or our weather. Mm. Very good. My students are really brilliant. Uh, clap your hands. Okay, so. Mm. Tori is waiting for us. So, we will check if we were able to mm, attain these goals. Okay? So, first, identify weather instruments in measuring weather components. Are we able to identify weather components and weather instruments okay check second make predictions about weather from observed weather components so through um <laughs> i i thought there are still pictures so through those by observing clouds um uh by feeling the wind so we're about to predict what is the weather for that day. And also, you will make, um, this is your assignment, huh? This is your assignment. Third, let's check this one. Show the value of care and nurturance towards nature. So, that's what Danica said earlier. So, Dora is very happy because we were about to complete all the directions she wants to go and dora wants to give you a five claps one two three four five yay so you're not yet done huh you get your uh, assignment notebook you copy your assignment I will give you five minutes. Hmm? Okay. Are you finished? Did you write this already? Ah, okay. This will be placed in your drawing book. And you pass this together with your assignment. Next meeting. Huh? Next meeting will be Wednesday. Okay. I will get your assignment notebook and your drawing book. Is that okay? Are we clear? Okay. I'll get this one. Five minutes, class, ha? Where will you put this one in your... Uh, science note, uh, assignment notebook. Finish? Yet? Okay. Take your time, class. Time's up. Done. Okay, very good. So, um, that's it for today. I think so. Uh, thank you, class, for participating. And thank you also for listening. So, keep up the good work. Uh, so, um, RJ, let's have the closing prayer now. Okay. Kindly. Stay in front, the dog. This my cameo. Let's bow down our head, class. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, class. Ah. Uh.
Okay, thank you so much. See you next meeting class. Okay, keep safe. Thank you. Love you all. Bye-bye.